bum, 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 a duck walked up to a lemonade stand and he said to Good morning, Sierra Vista. I'm Sophie. And I'm Rain. Today is February 5th, 2024. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may now be seated. Hey Majestics, did you help your team win during the LGT fundraiser? Well guess what, your team pizza party is coming up. On Friday, February 9th, come to room 615 to receive your pizza. Please note, only students that raise money during our LDT fundraiser will get to participate. Come to the outdoor stage at brunch from February 5th to February 13th to buy your friends a handmade Valentine's card. Your Valentine will get a handwritten note, a chocolate rose, a Valentine themed rubber ducky. All Valentines will be delivered on Valentine's Day during period five. Hey Bison, are you interested in being a chef one day? Did you take culinary with Ms. Cummins and found your passion? There is a culinary arts pathway that students can take while in high school at Canyon. This pathway gives students knowledge they need to be successful. There are great advantages to getting ahead in your career by having experience and knowledge. If you are interested in learning more about this opportunity, come to the NPR at lunch on February 7th. Attention club students and advisors. Club photos will be taken Monday, February 12th. Please check in with your club advisor for more information about what time and where your club picture will be taken. Stop by room 618 if you have any other questions. We've got a special story for you today, especially because it's February. You know what that means, right? Absolutely. It's Black History Month, and that's why our story brings us today to Bruce Beach in Manhattan Beach, California. Yeah, the city installed a bronze plaque there last February to remember the tough history and racial discrimination. Back in 1912, the Bruce's, a black family, brought land to create a beach resort for the black community. The community thrived with multiple families building cottages by the beach, but sadly they faced a lot of harassment from their neighbors. In 1924, the city officials took away their land, condemning the neighborhood and building a park in its place. It's a really tough part of California history to look back on. Absolutely, and you won't believe it, someone just stole the black. Wow, this story is not just about the plaque, it's remembering the struggles in the past. Activists in 2020 wanted the city to do the right thing, and eventually the land was returned to the Bruce family in July 22, uh, 2022. A new plaque was put up in March 20, 2023. But some people are saying that even though the first plaque lost over history, the recent plaque doesn't tell the whole story either. Critics think it's not acknowledge the real ch challenges the Bruce family faced. And it's happen happening in other places too. Like a hundred bronze plaques were stolen from the cemetery in Carson. It's pretty concerning. Thanks for joining us. And remember this Black History Month, let's learn, appreciate, and honor the stories that have shaped our history. Stay informed, everyone. Hey, Sierra Vista, Valentine's Day is almost here. If you are wondering how to ask that special someone to be your Valentine, or just looking for some Valentine's Day advice, stop by room 105 to place your questions in our Dropbox. Your question will be anonymous. There will be a stand with the, with the Dropbox outside with pencils and paper to write down your questions. That's all for today, Sierra Vista. I'm Rain. And I'm Sophie. And this is Sierra Vista!